are in Toulouse in France and we are meeting with uh, Thierry Elof um, and we are going to ask him a few questions about himself and his history. Can you tell us who you are, Thierry Elof? Um, so my father was um, the youngest son of a Hapatros and uh, so he's my grandfather, a Hapatros. Uh, I live in Toulouse from uh, my birth. Uh, and uh, of course, uh, my childhood, uh, I was uh, very often to Novital House, uh, near uh, to St. Jory Village. Yes. So you grew up in, the, in Novital, in the castle, or outside the castle? Sometimes. I uh, spent a lot of um, holidays in the castle. Because at, at that time, uh, my grandmother, Zarifa Khanem, was alone, and she passed away in 1971 or 78, uh, 70, 70 or 71. And after my, grandf my father, Khodida, uh, decided uh, to leave uh, the house up to his death. Uh, uh, in two, uh, 2010. 2010. Okay. Uh, so your grandfather, Ar Petros, is very famous among the Assyrian. What do you know about him? What did your father tell you about uh, his history? Uh, I know uh, a, lot, a lot of about Arapatros. Uh, since my childhood, I have heard about him. And uh, since I'm uh, 18 years old, I began to learn to speak with Asian compatriots all over the world, uh, read books, etc. And the, the date, the principal date, in fact, is um, after the death of my father. Uh, we took the books, Harapatros books, 18 books. Uh, uh, I mean, not books uh, exactly. It's a um, gathering of uh, old papers uh, written by a different uh, president or, or minister from Turkey and uh, from Basil Niktin, you know. Russian consul, etc., etc. So it uh, it relates uh, the story from uh, 1913 to 1932, after up to my, the death of my grandfather. It's very very important because uh, I have um, listened all the great war, what Assyrian did during the Great War with Armenians, with some of Kurdish tribes friendly. But it's important to know that all Kurdish did not uh, fight against us at that time. There was uh, some friendly Kurdish who fought alongside with Assyrian. And after it's a very long period from uh, 1920 to 1930, uh, all Agapetros did to try to, to make known the Assyrian struggle all over the world, asking for peace conference, uh, writing with a French president from a, go, uh, a Great Britain government, etc. So all that is um, gathered in, um, in my family. And uh, you've known this since you were a child, or did you learn about this? later that you have an, an Assyrian history? No, I, I learned after my father's death. Because I don't know why, but um, all this time, all bit 13 or 40 years, these books were kept in Novital House, and my family didn't want anyone to see them. Why that? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, just one thing, uh, I, my father told me, it's um, during um, when my grandmother passed away, a lot of people were in, in the house mm -hmm. for the um, enterrement, for the, uh, for the enterrement. And uh, he told me that uh, a few things had disappeared, something had been robbed. So I don't know, don't know more. And do you still have contact with the families that were at that time in the castle, in this Novital house? 
uh, in Novita there's no, nobody. In Novita there's nobody, and uh, of course I'm in contact with my cousins. Today, uh, the Asura team visited Novital House, and uh, we've, uh, we've s we saw that it's not like it used to be, and uh, it's deteriorating. How do you explain this? First, because uh, nobody is living there. First, first uh, the main reason. Uh, the other reason is that um, we have not uh, enough money to, to repair, to, to make a, uh, for the roof or everything. It's, uh, it's very ex expensive. Mm -hmm. And uh, so my, uh, the family uh, decided to, to keep the, the land, because the land uh, one day will be, uh, uh, will be um, how, uh, how do you say, um, to be, to have a um, construction, to have a constructive, to have a constructive. Mm -hmm. You can build on this. Well, yeah. people can build on it, and this will cost uh, a lot of money. So the only thing we, but uh, we hoped that some some uh, ASEAN organization, or I don't know who, could uh, could buy the house and the uh, the lands near the house. So. Maybe we could make something, uh, I don't know, an, an hotel for ASEAN, uh, a museum, uh, I don't know. And uh, do you know if many ASEAN organizations asked your family if they can do something, or is it just like nobody cares about this? A lot of, a lot of ASEAN organizations have, have contacted us and uh, give us promise, promises, but uh, nothing, nothing more. But uh, each, each time I, I told them, please uh, give me a plan, give me how you will do, what you want to do exactly, they didn't answer more. They say only, uh, we can buy it, or we can make anything for you. Okay, you know, it's uh, dead letters. Yeah. And um, from the families that were in the house 100 years ago, um, do you know if many of them I suppose still are living in France. Are they still considering themselves as Assyrians? Ah yes, yeah, of course. Yes. Yeah, uh, all my uh, uncles and aunts uh, were considered themselves as Assyrian, of course. They, as long as I remember, we have always been uh, visited by Assyrian organization in Novital. Uh, and each time the family, the complete family was there and we welcomed them with uh, as warm as possible. And uh, since my childhood, I remember that we had always uh, ASEAN compatriots living in the house because they were immigrated and they need papers and they have no jobs. Mm -hmm. So they stayed in the house up to the time they will find a job and can uh, live another place in France. Mm -hmm. My final question would be, you've been, your family has been in France since 100 years ago, and you said that you're still aware of your Assyrian identity. How do you see the future of the Assyrians in France for the next 100 years? I think France is a is a, a, a land for immigrated people. It's, a, it's of course, uh, important. But I, I'm not sure that uh, the, um, the meaning, the opinion in France is a facility, uh, can facilitate mm -hmm. the, the lobbies as Assyrian, as Armenian. It's very difficult. For example, in the uh, US, uh, USA, it's mm -hmm. very uh, very more easy that in France, but what I what I uh, I, uh, I hope that uh, is a, a new way of organization as uh, Europe Confederation, uh, ASEAN Confederation of Europe, mm -hmm. to find a new way to be organized 
to work differently, maybe uh, it can be a chance for, for the Austrian people. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Bye. Yeah, my